You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. Today's guest is Chat Wright, president of Hawaii Pacific University since 1972. Mr. Wright led HPU's growth from 57 students to 9,000 students from 112 countries. So social entrepreneurship is where you have, you know, for-profit businesses with a social mission. You folks are a non-profit organization, so obviously have a social mission, but then you use entrepreneurial principles in order to sustain yourself. Can you talk a little bit more in, in that regards? Well, un- entrepreneurial principles, I think, are important to anyone, whether one's a physician, a, a doctor. You have to let people know what your services are. You have to get better in the services that you have. You have to be educated. You have to you have a doctor's office that is a, also a business. I mean, a not-for-profit university has to make sure that it has more revenue coming in than what it really expense. Uh, today, with our uh, affiliate company, we have an overall budget of $110 million, 95 of our own, and $15 million with Oceanic. Well, uh, that's what we bring in. Our overall expenditures are around $113 million. $2 million uh, more are the surpluses that we have from raising money, mainly, and from government grants and contracts, and from tuition. So social mission-wise, in terms of uh, community involvement, how does HPU involve themselves directly within the community? Well, uh, as president, I personally have been on a number of not-for-profit boards. Uh, uh, I am involved in uh, the Chamber of Commerce, the the Business Roundtable, things like that. So I'm intimately involved in a lot of important things that happen here in Hawaii. But a number of our faculty and staff are also. And so... uh, uh, we are very much involved. And just down at the student level, we've had uh, the hurricane relief that is going on now. If you see the people out in the downtown town area, the young people, uh, almost all of them are Hawaii Pacific University students. And that's, that fits into the global citizenship mission. Yes. Yeah, so, well, we encourage that. Uh, we encourage the extracurricular and the co-curricular as part of the academic programs. Uh, we have on our campus more than 90 student clubs. Uh, some of the students' clubs could be in a professional area or it could be from a national uh, origin, uh, a country of national origin area. And so we think that's very important, and we think it's very important that students be involved in helping whatever community that they, that they are a part of. What are, do you have any examples of maybe some success stories of students that have come here maybe from other countries or even this country that have become your example of global citizenship? Well, I could tell you one, uh, an anecdotal story when uh, the rights were in Milan, Italy, and we stayed at the Principita Savoia Hotel, which is one of the finest hotels there, and uh, we had a mission. We had been talking to students and parents, but this was our day off, and uh, my wife and I were in our walking clothes, and early in the morning, we came into the lobby, and we heard uh, somebody say, President Wright, President Wright. Well... I wasn't really focusing on my name because the hotel that we were in hosts a lot of important people. The Saudi Saudi, uh, uh, royal family was also staying there, and I was looking around for a president. (laughs) And it turned out that the man that was calling my name was a Hawaii Pacific University graduate who became the vice president for marketing for Europe with General Electric. And I was so proud of this man who lived in Milan, where the uh, General Electric European headquarters are, and he was coming to the hotel to give a presentation to marketing people. And so there's many stories uh, like that. Uh, often when we go to Asia, we have a number of, uh, of HPU graduates who went through our travel industry management programs who are managers of some of the leading hotels in Asia. Uh, and thinking of a place like Singapore where the manager will come out and say, President Wright, I was a student, a graduate, and I'm now the assistant manager. I am the manager of the hotel. Uh, that happens often. Uh, Hawaii Pacific Health, which was named after Hawaii Pacific University after the merger of Kapiolani Health with Straub and, and Wilcox and others, uh, its overall uh, head of it is a Hawaii Pacific University graduate. So we have people all over that represent us that are recent graduates and graduates from years ago from Hawaii Pacific College, but most recently from the university, and we're so proud of that too. 
So where do you see the university in the next 10, 15, 20 years? I'm sure that you have a succession plan of some sort. Well, I will retire in four years, and, and that is planned now. I'm 64 years old. I'll be 68 at that time. The trustees will employ a, a professional search firm to look for the next president, although the next president could come from within the university community. Uh, but what are my plans? What are the university's plans? Well, we're right on the course of uh, emerging and being very prominent in the area of research, publishing, and scholarly work. And the acquisition of Oceanic, uh, the Oceanographic uh, uh, Institute at Makapu Point is really a part of that. We've invested $20 million in that. We have around 100 uh, scientists working there uh, developing uh, new forms of shrimp, of, uh, of uh, new forms of fish, of, uh, of uh, aquaculture and things like that. And we will expand in the oceanographic areas. Uh, also emerging in our other colleges are research. And so ultimately, I would say within 10 to 15 years, we will be offering the uh, doctorate level programs. We only offer at the master's degree now. Thanks for joining us today on Greater Good Radio. For more information or a transcript of today's show, please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. This is your host, Evan Leong and Carrie Leong, saying please join us next time for another episode of Greater Good Radio, Hawaii.